Now let's see how to code the computer class using decorators in this case. And we're going to take a look at how to use the decorators to extend what goes on with the computer class. Here's the computer class. It's a public class named computer. It's got a default constructor, public constructor, that does nothing, as you see here. And it's got a method called description. The description method is going to simply return the word computer. Very, very simple, very minimal description in this case. So, as you see, it's public method. It returns a string called, dis and the method is called description, and the string it returns is a computer. It's just a computer. So, this is a very basic computer class, it's, and there's the description method. Now we're going to start creating decorators to augment that class. In order to create decorators, we're going to create an abstract class called component decorator, which extends the computer class. It's abstract so that it, this class has to be inherited before you can actually use it. And this is going to be the component decorator class. It's got, it specifies that there's going to be a description method inside each class that implements this, extends this component decorator class. So this is going to be the basis, this component decorator is going to be the basis of our decorator classes extends the computer class, as you see here, into this class called component decorator, which will be the basis of the decorator classes. Okay, so here, for example, is the disk class. Now remember, the decorators are supposed to be wrapper classes, and so they will be able to accept computer objects and extend their description method. That's the idea here in the decorator class, the decorator classes. So here you have public class disk. This is going to act as a wrapper. Extends component decorator. So in other words, it extends the component decorator class, which means it's going to be one of our decorators. And don't forget that the component decorator class in itself extends the computer class. So we're going to now work on creating the disk decorator. And it's going to take in its constructor a computer object, as you see here, and store the computer object in an internal variable called computer. So when you create a disk wrapper, you pass it a computer object, and it's going to store that computer object internally. Okay, and then the next step is, having stored that computer object internally, you want to augment the description method of this disk class by returning the computer description. In other words, that's the description of the computer itself. And add to it the text and a disk. So if you're just to pass this constructor a normal computer object, then that computer object will be stored. And when you ask for the description of the disk wrapper, you get the computer object's description plus the text and a disk. So that is the fundamental way that the decorator pattern works, it allows you to use wrappers to decorate the functionality of the internal objects that it's been storing. So here you are. And then you could also create a CD of CD class, which extends component decorator as well. And this is going to add a CD ROM drive to your computer. And when you create this object of this CD class, you pass it pass the computer objects to that CD class. It's stored internally as before, and you return the computer object's description method and a CD, add the text and a CD. So once again, we're creating another wrapper here that will allow you to augment the functionality of your computer. We can also add to the same for a monitor. This is a class named monitor. It extends component decorator as well, so it's going to be one of our decorators. When you create a monitor object, you pass it a computer object. Now don't forget this computer object you pass it can itself be a component decorator object because the component decorator object is based on the computer objects. The component decorator class is based on the computer class. So when you pass it a computer object, you can in fact also be passing it a component decorator object. So here you have the computer object you're passing the constructor that's stored in this internal variable called computer and the description string is going to return the computer description methods return value plus the text and a monitor. And so that's, there you have it. That's in essence the decorator design pattern. You construct 
a series of wrappers that allow you to customize the functionality of a particular object just by passing that object to the wrappers. In this case, you pass the object to the wrappers constructor, and then, as you see here, that customizes the description method by adding to the, dis to the computer's description method whatever the wrapper represents, and a monitor, for example. So next, we're going to see how this works, how this actually works by testing it out, and we'll put the decorator pattern, design pattern to work.